Graphing quadratic functions in x-intercept form. The graph of g is shown. Below are formulas in standard form and in x-intercept form. To change forms from standard to x-intercept requires that standard form can be factored. So here we have the standard form, and the zeros are negative 2 and 1. Therefore, we can write it in x-intercept form like this. So negative 2 plus 2 would be 0, and 1 minus 1 would be 0. FOIL to confirm, so if we multiply this out, we do get the exact same equation that we started with. Write an equivalent function in x-intercept form. All right, so here, first we can factor out 2x, and we have 2x times x plus 2. Then we can rewrite it a little differently so that it's in the factored form here, x minus 0 instead of just x, so that 0 becomes r and 2 is s. Here, we can just factor it into x minus 2, x minus 4. This one we can factor, first we factor out the negative sign, and then we can factor the rest of the uh, function. And here we can factor out a 2 first, and then x plus 2, x plus 10. The graph of h is shown. A rule is given in standard form. Exercise a. What is a rule for h in x-intercept form? All right, so we have our standard form here, x squared minus 2x minus 3, and we know that our zeros are at negative 1 and 3, so therefore we can write it as x plus 1, x minus 3, in x-intercept form, because we have negative 1 here, so we put a positive 1 there, and we have a 3 here, so we put a negative 3 there. Exercise b. What is a rule for f in x-intercept form? All right, so we have standard form here, and that's x squared plus 3x minus 4, and the zeros are at when x equal negative 4 and 1. So we just put positive 4 and negative 1. That's for our x-intercept form. Exercise c. What is a rule for f in x-intercept form? Here, the standard form looks like this, and so the x-intercept form looks like this. We can just leave this 1 over 4 in front and factor this portion to look like that.